I've done every dating app. Like, I've done Tinder, Bumble, Uber, like, <laughs> every single one. And there are a lot of creeps out there. Like, I think the worst message I ever received from a guy online, the only thing the message said was, hey, girl, I want to lick your butt. But he spelled whole, W-H-O-L-E. So I read it and I was like, all right. Maybe this guy does wanna lick my butt and he's a terrible speller. Or maybe he wants to lick my whole butt and he's dyslexic. Or maybe he wants to lick my whole butt and he was really pressed for time that day. None of those scenarios are deal breakers. Just wanna make that qu quite clear. Uh, speaking of buttholes, my sister just had a baby and the baby is so cute. I love the baby, but she had a really tough labor and delivery. Like after she gave birth to the baby, she didn't poop for three months. I know, she didn't tell me that, but I could like see it in her eyes. Like, <laughs> there's a darkness there. Because they tell women, before you give birth, you're supposed to do Kegels. You know, it's those exercises that like strengthen the vagina muscles. Like we should all just do them like right now. Like you'll thank me later. And I know Kegel's like a weird word. Like Kegel sounds like something a hipster couple in Brooklyn would name their firstborn child. Like this is Kegel. He is gluten free. And this is his brother Queef. I know what you're thinking, Queef's a girl's name. Nope, 2020, anyone can be a Queef. <laughs> so she had a rough pregnancy, like rough delivery, but it was exciting because she didn't find out the gender of the baby beforehand. She also didn't find out who the father was, but that's a different story. <laughs> but she didn't have one of those gender reveal parties. You guys have heard of these Rocky Horror Pinterest shows, right? <laughs> If you're not familiar, you know, they'll cut the cake and it's blue inside and they're like, oh my God, it's a boy. I saw one where they hit a baseball, uh, the dad hit it, it exploded into pink and the dad was like, <laughs> They're so stupid. And so my sister didn't have one, but my cousin did have one like a year ago. And I didn't know she was having a gender reveal party and she invited my whole family on Facebook. So I hadn't seen the invitation, but my dad was looking at it in the other room and he called out to me. He was like, hey, Kat, it looks like your cousin Alicia's having a sex party. <laughs> Do you want to go with me? <laughs> and I just called back. I was like, uh, Dad, do you want to go with me? <laughs> we cleared up the confusion, but I learned an important lesson about myself that day. I hate gender reveal parties so much, I would rather attend an orgy with my father <laughs> than go to one. My dad hates that joke. Uh, my dad, he isn't a big fan of me being a comedian. He prefers the job I used to have. I used to be a high school teacher during the day. Yeah, thank you. The rest of you don't clap for education. That's great. No. It's too late, the kids, right? But don't. That's like the number one rule. So, even though like I taught kids, but I know I'm not ready to have my own kids. And so, you know, like I try to be responsible. I remember I was dating this guy once and we had the birth control talk. 
I told him, I was like, hey, you know, I don't really like taking the birth control pill. And he was like, oh, that's cool. You can just do one of those IED things. <laughs> I was like, IED? You mean IUD? And he's like, yo, what's the difference? <laughs> Pretty big difference. I explained to him, I was like, all right, an IUD is an intrauterine device, goes into the cervix. An IED, improvised explosive device used in roadside bombs. <laughs> One of the two will blow up my vagina. <laughs> and his response was, yeah, but they'll both keep you from getting pregnant. <laughs> Touche. It was the butthole guy. Uh, we... 